And we come now to one of our feature matches of this final round. Four-time undefeated state champion, Jared Lawrence of Sand Point, Idaho, wearing the black single. He's going up against two-time Arizona State champion from Tucson and Sunnyside High School, Eric Larkin. And Ed, this is uh, certainly one of our feature matches, and we'll get into that in a little while. But um, these two guys, uh, both with a lot of motivation going into this, they've both had great tournaments in one of the uh, championship's toughest weight classes this year. Buckle your seatbelt for this one, Rob. Both these wrestlers have uh, signed college scholarships already, as we see Eric Larkin in on the first uh, good uh, takedown opportunity. Now trying to spin behind in a potentially dangerous situation called by Fred Ambrose, one of our head officials. And uh, blood time now for Jared Lawrence. For 33 and 0 during his high school career. Larkin with a real nice wrap arm. Just crowds and just comes right in, wrap arm. He wrapped arm right, and now he's left. Eric Larkin, one of those wrestlers that maybe has more intangibles than maybe any wrestler you can name, and he scores the takedown in a two to nothing lead. Good pursuit, excellent pursuit. Good technique to get there, everything you need. The only thing Larkin didn't have in his early years was size. And once he got to be big enough to handle the best competition anywhere in the country, you could see what he's done with it. He's here in the National High School Finals, and he scored the first takedown on Jared Lawrence for a 2 to nothing lead. I think back to uh, a match uh, three years ago, Ed, when uh, these two met in the finals of the Cadet National Freestyle uh, Championships as Lawrence gets the escape, leads two to, and the uh, two lead now for Larkin, two to one. Another stalemate called by Fred Ambrose. Uh, that was under the throat, I believe. Called, uh, the, called yeah. under the throat, potentially dangerous. Under 35 seconds left in the first period. Jared Lawrence had a five to nothing lead in that match, and Eric Larkin came back for really a scintillating six to five win, including a three point move at the buzzer to win it. And they met in the Junior Nationals last year, and uh, Lawrence came back to win 11-9 late. So these two wrestlers have a history with each other, 1-1, one, one, and uh, both have a lot of motivation to succeed here. As we mentioned, uh, both these wrestlers uh, have scholarship offers. We'll get to that in a minute as the first period ends. Larkin in the lead, 2-1. to one. Lawrence with his first um, offensive shot, a little bit of a faraway double, and try to peek out to no avail down two to one. A lot of action in the first period. Lawrence will be heading to the University of Minnesota next fall where his brother Brett was the starter at 118 pounds for the better part of this year. Larkin uh, will be head staying in the state and uh, going to Arizona State to wrestle for the Sun Devils. Early seconds of the second period. Two to one in favor of Jared Lawrence of uh, Sandpoint, Idaho, I'm sorry, Eric Larkin, and now a score two to two as Jared Lawrence gets the escape. 25 seconds gone in the second period. Larkin just kind of feeling Lawrence out on top, uh, gave it to 15 seconds, um, felt Lawrence kind of coming out and just let him go, figure let's play with on the feet a little bit. Lawrence shooting from far away with the double and the throw by by Real Eric nice. Larkin. Scores Real nice shot, ball. very nice. Uh, didn't hesitate, waited for that opportune moment. Uh, Lawrence pursued, he popped, he, he just threw him by. Nice follow through with the arm, quick two points. That makes it four to two now in favor of Eric Larkin, his second takedown of the match. A minute 12 left here in the second period. This is the 130 pound championship match in the NHSCA Health South National High School Wrestling Championships. Rob Sherrill, Ed Ferraro calling the action here in these 14 championship matches. Jared Lawrence stands up again. Eric Larkin brings him back down again as we clear a minute here in the second period and Fred Ambrose brings him back for a fresh start with 57 seconds left to go. Jared Lawrence, um, he didn't drop anything on the mat. That's typical of a lot of college wrestlers. 
Yeah, he'll take his head. There's a warning stalling on Eric Larkin. Uh, Jared Lawrence, he'll take his head to the mat, elbows tight, which means nothing comes in. Then when he goes, it's all explosion, it's all offense. Well, now Eric Larkin knows he's going to have to get to work. He's been warned for stalling. And potentially dangerous situation on the knee there. Called, and Fred Ambrose gives him a fresh start with 47 seconds left. Lawrence very, very tough on the mat especially on top, and Eric Larkin knows that, and he's going to try and stay away from it the best he can, and now Larkin with the cross face cradle trying to lock that up. But Lawrence stops that, and again comes back to his feet for the stand-up. Larkin uh, out of position right now, knowing he is, and there it is, there's one. He split himself, and in wrestling, that's one thing you don't want to do. You get one hand low, one hand high. He's a lot of room in the middle for the man to come through on. Well, Lawrence, 133-0 in his career, Ed, with 94 career falls, you know, hasn't had a whole lot of close matches in his career. He told me that this kind of match is the match he really likes. He likes those close, grinding matches where he has to show everything he has to win, and he's going to have to do that here in the third period with the third period coming up and a point to Lawrence. Okay, uh, my God, I missed all that. I saw the signal. It had to be an illegal move. Um, could it have been an, uh, an illegal, illegal headlock? Illegal headlock now called uh, oh. by, we're told. Is that an illegal headlock? Okay. And uh, Bobby DeBerry, who is uh, Larkin's coach at Sunnyside, wants an explanation of this. The, the officials, I know for a fact, add, they add a little latitude to a coach questioning this type of call um, because of the different parts of the country the kids come from. They, they do allow for it, and believe me, it has not been abused at all in this tournament, and that's a justifiable, hey, what happened to my kid? No question, that's a big, big call in a one-point match here in the finals. And now Jared Lawrence is looking to work, uh, try to work on top, but Eric Larkin with the stand-up, Lawrence still in command, no change in position yet, and Larkin hits the reversal, six to four lead. Jared Lawrence uh, got out of position like real quick. Um, not sure why, just got a little bit high. He's coming back to the middle, he's focused. He got a minute 35 left, he's looking. He was not, uh, what was it Rob, 135 and 0? He didn't get that way being a slacker. He, he's, he's busy, he's ready to go. Mentally, he's got some thoughts right now what he's got to do to win this match. Larkin uh, really doesn't do anything by the book, but he's got great hips, great positioning, and he's really hard to wrestle because he's hard to defend against. I, and now we have a blood time. I could not try on, on that one. You're exactly right. He does nothing by the book. Uh, this is my first experience besides watching him wrestle during the tournament that... Ah, no problem. Okay, we're back to live action with a minute 25 to go. And Jared Lawrence trailing six to four with the stand up, breaks the hands and gets the escape at six to five. Larkin right in again on the leg attack though, trying to finish. Lawrence hanging on, looking more like a stalemate, but Larkin gets behind him and gets the takedown eight to five. Under a minute okay. to go here in the 130-pound championship match, Ed. He's got to move up. He's got his two. I know it's easy to say. Okay, start him over, stalemate. 52 seconds left to go, and Jared Lawrence has been taken down three times in reverse, and now Larkin trying to tilt. And uh, everything he's done has worked. Lawrence again standing up, gets the escape. One that, thing. That makes it eight to six. Lawrence could still tie it up with a takedown. One thing. 30 seconds to go. Lawrence does not want to do is panic. He needs a takedown, not three, not four. Oh my God, head down, caught head down. Larkin, two point takedown, very legitimate. It is a two point takedown and a 10 to six lead. And you know, against Larkin, you need to take a good shot because a bad shot against Larkin will kill you. He can counter, spin behind, and with just 19 seconds left, Lawrence really has to get it together and get it together in a hurry. The nosebleed fixed. Lawrence going back to the bottom to try and do something about this. 
Eric Larkin, two offensive, two defensive takedowns? My God. He can do it all. And again, he has offense and he has counter ability. He has defense. And that is a hard thing to defend, even against a guy like Jared Lawrence, who has not been taken down in three years at the high school level, but he's been taken down four times here, and quite a credit to Larkin. The escape makes it 10 to seven, under 10 seconds left to go, and Lawrence needs a home run right here, but uh, looks like with three seconds left, he may just run out of time. And there it is, Eric Larkin, the national high school champion, by a 10 to seven score, and five national high school champions in the books. Did they wrestle twice before and they were 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8, 1-8,